Ese mi se mi she ma kwa suye mami jina piano ayo eradi yesu mami jina bia fufu ohine jina bia ekro jina bia ese nasamisa mi she ma kwa suye mami Lord, lift me up, make me stand. My feet on a stable line. And have your blessed love. Lord, plant my feet on high. Sing with me now. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I every day. Still bring us to the world. Seated. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to 17. But I would not have you to be ignorant, I brethren. would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, and that is what I'm trying to do. Because you can be in the church and be ignorant of the whole counsel of God. You may have knowledge about faith, prosperity, financial breakthrough, living long, and all kinds of doctrines, and yet... Be ignorant and be lacking in certain areas of the counsel of God. So Paul, after everything he had preached, he said, I will not have you to be ignorant of this. Watch it. Concerning them which are asleep. Concerning believers that are asleep. That you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. Uh -huh. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Uh-huh. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, yes. that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. That means we will not go before them. You see, God is so mindful of family that he makes sure that those who remain and are alive will see our loved ones who died in Christ and we buried them. We will see them come out of their graves. Taken in the clouds of glory. And after we've seen them taken, then we that are alive and remain shall be changed and cut up with them and be with them. So that we won't go and be thinking that, ah, what is going to happen to our loved ones? God will make sure we see them taken so that we have the assurance that we didn't leave, leave them behind. Because it is too dangerous to leave anybody behind. As time goes on, you'll see why. Nobody must be left behind. Go ahead. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. We need to comfort one another 
that we are in transit. You know, I, I know we are all building and you must build and keep building. Go on and build. Build, make money, do deals, but do it the right way. And have money, buy cars, buy even a private jet, fly a jet. You can do all that, but just make sure that you are living pure. And living pure is not just, you know, sexual sins. But it's also being honest, true to yourself, not bearing grudges, not holding on forgiveness and bitterness in your heart, not being offended, not lying, cheating, jealousy, envy, all the works of the flesh. When we talk about sin, we just think about sexual sin. There are so many sins greater than even sexual sin in the body. Hatred, disobedience, rebellion, stubbornness, haughtiness, pride, arrogance. Despising others, attitudes of ingratitude, having no regard for God or man, no commitment, covetousness. So let us not be talking when you say sin or the first thing. Me, I don't do all those things, but you are guilty of everybody is guilty of something. So you can look at me the way you are looking at me, it doesn't matter. We are all guilty of something. <laughs> 